Chapter 5, The Window Hunter Richard was the worst counter-terrorist on the team. He had made up a game where he would try to shoot out all the windows, and he won almost every time. Unfortunately, that had nothing to do with Counter-Strike. One Christmas, the CT lieutenant said, Hey Richard, why don't you shoot a couple less windows and a couple more bad guys instead? But as much as he tried, Richard couldn't not shoot the windows out. I was born a window hunter, and that's all I'll ever be, he proudly announced. But no one was left to hear his maddening nonsense, and then he was proudly stabbed. You're fired from the CTs, the CT lieutenant explained. No one's ever been fired before, but you're wasting everyone's time and it's annoying. So the lieutenant demanded Richard hand over his badge and his assault rifle and machine gun and his bison and sawed-off shotgun and Uzi and his regular shotgun and his Molotov cocktail. And most of all, he demanded Richard's AWP. But I love my AWP, Richard cried in his window hunter's accent. That's not a real accent, the lieutenant said in his lieutenant's accent. Now hand it over, or I guess throw it in the air, because that's how we do it in Counter-Strike, and be on your way. So Richard threw his sniper rifle up in the air, over the lieutenant's head. But when he did, he picked up another AWP. I said hand it over, the lieutenant repeated. I swear I did, Richard whined, in his window hunter's whine. But every time he dropped an AWP, he automatically picked another one up. That's when the lieutenant remembered they were playing in casual. There were AWPs all over the place, and there was nothing anyone could do about it. Why is everyone always using AWPs all the time? He posted. This gun is superfluous in all these close quarters maps. It drags out what would otherwise be a quick paced match, and forces other players to either wait for the campers to stop camping or buy AWPs themselves. And while the lieutenant was being ripped to pieces about playing in casual, Richard snuck off to follow his dream of hunting the most dangerous window he could find.